brownstone is fantastic. This is what we look for every time we're going into New York. We're looking for multi-generational New York places. Like this, you know, the family's had this for three generations. So there's been stuff uh, just piling on. Uh, and it's just, it's all this like really classic stuff that you would see, old paintings, bronzes, uh, pottery, stuff that may not be super in vogue now, but still the best is always the best stuff, you know? Uh, some cool stuff we have here. We have these, uh, you know, really large bronzes. They're probably, you know, they're probably, you know, after Moreau or after whoever. So um, it, it's not gonna be, you know, like huge money, but we're still talking like, you know, in the thousands, you know, when they're signed, we have to see, um, you know, when, uh, you know, where they were made uh, and, uh, and uh, what edition they are. So uh, that's uh, and a foundry mark. Those are very important things. And this is my mother, <laughs> who a guy painted. So we don't, we're trying to decide who wants her. <laughs> you know, these fireplaces are just like, you know, talk about like, oh, is there yeah. a secret thing behind it? No, I wish it was. <laughs> oh, uh, like you see all this like aesthetic movement, yeah. uh, late Victorian stuff. And we can see that we'll look at the um, big hall mirrors outside yeah. that are staying. And then here we have every, you know, every old Manhattan uh, place has a Steinway. So we definitely walk with this for sale. We want to know what the date is in the model. So usually we'll take up the, uh, uh -huh. will we? So here we have here. So we have the, it's an M and the serial number is 317804. So we can look up uh, and see what year this was built. You know, we have uh, this nice mantel clock that's a, uh, that's bronze with uh, with marble. Uh, there's all these different bronze bookends, more bronze, some cloisonne. Uh, we're going to be able to do something, even though this has um, uh, elephant ivory. They do have pictures of this in the apartment before 1974, so we'll be able to sell those. That before 1974 is the kind of cutoff date uh, for the Endangered Species uh, Act. Um, that's not too good of a painting, but uh, this one is uh, really interesting. Hey, there's, you can talk to me. That's okay, it's not. Uh, you can start stacking stuff uh, neatly. So we're always talking about when we're working our floor workflow. So right here, and these doors are amazing too. Um, we could see that, uh, you know, this, this uh, writing desk is in the way. So we're gonna uh, get rid of that first. Uh, it's really cool here. We have, you know, you can see where the draperies were hanging uh, before with these, uh, with the rings and then above. So we still have a breezeway because the draperies at that time are going to be really heavy, plush velvety, like red or green. Uh, and there's not going to be a lot of airflow. So that's why they have this kind of open transom on the top. This is the dancing fawn. The dancing fawn. This is, this, is, this is a copy of a statue that came out of a house in Pompeii. Uh -huh. This is a 19th century version of it. Great. The, what she gave you was this got a copy of it, this, you know, got sold with Christie's. Uh -huh. This Perfect. is this is Apollo. Mm -hmm. With his art? With his lyre. Lyre, excuse yeah. me. Yeah, with yeah. his lyre. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, we we're just uh, talking about how this is like such a classic oh. New York kind of thing. When we walk in, it's a multi generational house. Oh. This is definitely like the classic kind of stuff that you see all this like bronze it's, and you know, old masters. And there aren't that paintings. many of them in this kind of shape left. No, not at all. We were just discussing yeah. how uh, Giselle said oh, that's that. Really old. Yeah, that she has photos of it in the house before Way 1974. Back. Way back. So yeah. we will be able to sell that. Yeah. And uh, the that's same cool. thing with the, uh, the ivory on the piano. There is a, uh, you are allowed for musical instruments to have ivory in the um, in either the keyboards or the fretboards of uh, stringed instruments. Uh, and then as, as we uh, move through here, uh, I'm gonna actually have uh, Jordan talk about this because he's very, you know, he was a classics major and he's very excited because this is this, this kind of allegory we've seen a couple of times and I'll just have him talk about that. He's very excited too. Hey, Jordan Glendowitz, move manager and auction cataloger here at Little Auction House. What we're looking at is a copy of a known work by Guido Reni, who was a famous Italian artist working in the Baroque period, maybe around the 17th, 18th century. Um, what you're looking at here is um, Aurora leading a new day in. So this is Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn, a personification of hers displayed right here. Um, we have a cherub leading every um, Apollo on a chariot. Of course, Apollo is the god of the sun. You know, um, he's bringing, literally, quite literally bringing in a new day. 
Um, and we have Apollo here accompanied by these muses and these uh, nymphs and other deities. And it's just a really beautiful neoclassical representation of a dawn, literally a dawn of a new day. Um, absolutely love this work. It's super, super cool to look at.